Great. Go ahead. All right. Thank you all for being with us today to begin uh, our 2015 Martin Luther King uh, holiday celebration announcement. I want to thank uh, the Reverend Norwood Thompson, Jr., who's the co-chair of the Martin Luther King Holiday Planning Commission, uh, and all of the other members that have been with us yeah. for a very long <laughs> period of time. I thank all of them because we would not be here uh, without them. I also want to thank our council members, our council member Ramsey, council Amen. member Brissett is with us, uh, my deputy mayor Judy Reese Morse, um, so Michael Ruffin, who's been the point person, uh, yeah. and Councilman Gray is with us too. Hey, yeah, Councilman Gray, thank you. It's nice to see you. Uh, so today, you know, in in uh, in the way that we have done this every year, uh, we come together. Uh, to begin to celebrate the life, the mission, uh, and the challenges that were given to us by the words and the life and the testimony uh, of Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, there is a movie that is uh, now opening across the country called Selma uh, that brings in to vivid uh, clarification all of the challenges and the struggles that were made uh, in one part of the movement. Uh, and it just shows you the tremendous sacrifice uh, that was made by Dr. King and so many people uh, to bring justice, uh, fairness, equity, and liberty yes, uh, to the United States of America. As we all as Americans talk about forming a more perfect union, we know that we are a nation that has unfinished work. Uh, and so we come together today to continue to walk down that path uh, that Dr. King trod uh, and that he challenged us to continue to walk down, uh, not only for those that were living at that time, but for future generations to come. Yes, sir. He wrote a book before he was taken from us at a too early age of 39. That's right. And the book was called, Where Do We Go From Here? Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. You're doing it great. didn't say, let's complain about what happened in the past. <laughs> it didn't say about whose fault it was. What it said was, let's all come together and That's talk about said. where we. He didn't say where you. Mm -hmm. He didn't say where I. That's he right. didn't say where they. He where said, where do we go? from here and how do we get to a more perfect union how do we find that promised land and one of the things he showed us was to speak truth to power mm -hmm. to reach out and that diversity to say that diversity was a strength mm -hmm. he reached out and he said we need all of our brothers and sisters walking towards and I will challenge every individual and I'll even challenge the president of the United States mm -hmm. to make sure that we as a people do that which we said we would do when we all came together as Americans and as we all claim that great citizenship that we have. And so as we approach this time of year and we reflect on Dr. King's legacy, we think about the progress that we have made come on. and we think about the challenges yes, to come come because there are many. That's right. The most challenging issues on the streets of America cities now on display throughout this country are clear. Dr. King said we are tied together in the single garment of destiny caught in the inescapable network of mutuality human beings are dependent on each other we That's need right. each other Amen. and instead of looking away instead of turning away yes. we have to come together to face the problems head-on we run to the fire and then we ask where do we go from here the 29th anniversary of Martin Luther King Day holiday Amen. it's an opportunity to reflect we reflect on his qualities and we practice his values this is a man that came from very humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. He was deeply religious. He was a man of great moral character. He always found, through difficult times, even when he was afraid, and he was afraid many times, he found the courage to stand up and to do what was right. He was inspired. And the responsibility now is ours in the city of New Orleans to do our part exactly. and to move this city forward. We're com we are committed mm -hmm. to not leaving anybody behind in the city of New Orleans. Okay. That is why we are working hard to connect all of the young men in this city to job opportunities. That's why we have a robust economic opportunity strategy. We are committed to make sure that young men are safe in the city of New Orleans and that the murder rate gets reduced. We have been blessed last year with having the lowest number of murders between African American men in 43 years. Thank God. We, Thank you, we can be thankful for that, but it's still too high. Yes, sir. Yes. And so we ask, where do we go from here? How do we make it better? Yes. We are working towards racial reconciliation in the Amen. city of New Orleans with an initiative called the Welcome Table, where people from all over New Orleans, different races, creeds, yeah. colors, agendas, 
people uptown, downtown, back of town, pension town, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all of it, <laughs> come together at each other's tables and talk about mm -hmm. what their differences are, but you know what they find when they get there? How much unites them because they always ask my brother and my sister, where do we go from, from here? here. <laughs> Dr. King said, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident and that all men, all men are created equal. And so today we use this time to introduce the many events on behalf of the people of the city of New Orleans and through their representatives who are standing here today that have picked up the mantle to move forward and have asked themselves time and time again, I know where I have been, but where do we go from here? Let me turn over this to... Judy Reese Morris, who's the deputy mayor for all these citywide initiatives, and then we will hear from the Reverend Norwood Thompson. Please Thank help me welcome Chairman. Judy Reese Morris. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is great to begin the year with a commemoration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday and the federal holiday, of course, and to once again be with the members of the New Orleans MLK Holiday Planning Commission. Uh, I want to start by thanking Mayor Landrew. I want to thank him for his leadership with the work of this commission and on the other big issues of our time. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to thank the MLK Planning Commission for its efforts to keep Dr. King's memory and work alive and active in our city. Bless you. Mm -hmm. you heard the mayor tell us that this year's celebration is, has the theme, Where Do We Go From Here?, yeah. mm -hmm. which we believe is both timely and very appropriate. We're at a tipping point in New Orleans, and the mayor has charged us all with bending toward growth, progress, and opportunity for all New Orleanians. The questions are, where do we go from here, and how do we move forward together? We are pleased to announce two speakers that will share their thoughts and offer answers to these questions. Brandon B. Mike Odoms is an artist and community organizer and the head of Two Cent Entertainment. Brandon will share his reflections on the occasion and, as he does every day through his artwork, invite the people of New Orleans to think more deeply and to dream bigger. Brandon is the creator of Exhibit B, which features beautiful images of civil rights leaders on the walls of an unoccupied apartment complex in Algiers. Right. If you have not seen it, I highly, highly recommend that you do. It is really magnificent. Mm -hmm. To celebrate Dr. King's life, B. Mike will create a vision board for New Orleanians to share their vision about the future of our city, which will be placed next to the MLK monument. David D. One Augustine, RCA recording artist, will deliver our keynote address. D. One, as he is also known, is a native New Orleanian who attended Ben Franklin High School and Louisiana State University. He taught middle school math for two years before branching out to focus on his music career full time. Now I don't want you to think that you're going to hear the average recording artist or rapper speaking at the MLK Day program. <laughs> he is a very, very special and unique individual and if you have not yet heard his music, I invite you to listen to his music and you'll have some sense of what you're going to be in store for at the program next Monday. D1 has been a supporter of NOLA for Life since the beginning. He helped to launch the public awareness phase of that effort in 2012 right. and was just recently a speaker at the NOLA for Life Symposium last month. He has a very, very, very powerful and positive message to share and often speaks about the principles that Dr. King represented. B. Mike and D1 will join Mayor Landrew, faith leaders, and Reverend Norwood Thompson, who is the chairman of the Martin Luther King Jr. Planning Commission, to bring to the people of our city a program that will encourage us all to think about where we go from here and, most importantly, how we are going to move forward together. And so with that, I'd like to invite Reverend Norwood Thompson to share with you the other important programs that have been planned to commemorate Dr. King's birthday and the federal Thank holiday. You. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Judy Reese Morris, and to our Honorable Mayor and to the City Council that are here and to this illustrious staff of volunteers who come and put the Martin Luther King Federal Holiday Commission together every year. I'm just delighted to be here. Dr. King would have made 86 if he'd have been alive. Mm -hmm. 
47 years ago, he was taken from us, but his message still resonates. We had the privilege, Ms. Mom, Ms. Thompson and myself, to work with Mrs. Coretta Scott King in establishing this national holiday, which will take place on the uh, January the 19th across the nation. And I love our theme, where do we go from here? As, as the mayor said it, where do we go from here? Chaos, a community. We see what's happening across our country right now. We see Ferguson, New York, Cleveland, California. And so this is a great question for us to come with a diverse group to sit down and talk about this and have some type of reconciliation. Amen? Amen. Okay, I like it. So with that being said, uh, I do have the public affair, if you wouldn't mind me taking a part, part of the privilege, Mr. Mayor, that I want the young people to come next. And with that, with that coming, they're going to come give our schedule. I'm getting to be an older man now. With that being said, they're going to come just run the kind of events, Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy Johnson and Candice Croyle. Thank you, Happy. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning, right? Uh, first, uh, my name is Happy Johnson. I'm the Public Affairs Chair for the Martin Luther King Holiday Planning Commission. On behalf of the Commission, I'd like to thank the Mayor for his leadership and the staff. They've invested a lot in making this a great MLK holiday. We invite the entire city to come out to all of the free and public events. Tomorrow, Tuesday, at Landry Walker High School, we'll have an MLK educational series on the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that takes place at 10 a.m. On Thursday, January 15th, we have the Real Commemorative March that starts at 10, and that'll begin at A.L. Davis uh, Park. Following the march, uh, we'll have the Reef Lane Ceremony, chaired by First Lady Thompson. That's at 11 a.m., and that's on Claiborne and MLK Avenue. Uh, later that evening at 6 p.m., the United Teachers of New Orleans will have a choral contest, a choral concert, and it'll be a place where you can see the true talent and spirit of the New Orleans high school students. It's going to be an outstanding concert, and we hope a lot of folks come out at Franklin Avenue Baptist Church. Then on Friday at noon at the main public library, we'll have the uh, Black History Celebration, and we'll highlight a number of the civil rights accomplishments, and our students will be there as well. Um, later on that evening at 6.30 p.m. at Dillard University Lawless Chapel, we'll have the Jazz and Heritage Foundation. They'll have their annual MLK Jazz Journey concert. Uh, Jonathan Butler is the headliner, and it will be another outstanding uh, event. At that point, I'd like to introduce our, our uh oh, I'm sorry. She's going to do that. She's going to do that. Candace Quarles. Well, you didn't introduce her. I'm sorry. Candace Quarles, our Deputy Public right, Affairs Candace. Chair. Hello, everyone. Again, I'm Candace Quarles, and I just want to let everyone know I'm very appreciative to be a part of this wonderful group of people who've put in so much work to make this happen. And I'm going to continue with, with the schedule. Amen. On Friday, I'm sorry, Friday night, we will also have the Jazz and Heritage MLK Jazz Journey Concert at Dillard University for 6 p.m. Saturday, January 17th, we have the Reverend A.C. Alexander Social Action Conference. Yes. That will be held at Dryas YMCA mm -hmm. for 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Following that will be the MLK Birthday Party for Children. At that event, we will have refresh refreshments being served, king cake, drinks, and we will also be giving away free books for the children. That will be located at the McKenna Museum, 2003 Carondelet Street, New Orleans, Louisiana, of course, 70130. The NCA MLK Commemorative Art Exhibit, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Ash Cultural Arts Center. Ashe. Ashe, I'm sorry. Forgive okay. me. Sunday, we have on January 18th, the memorial mm -hmm. service with speakers and gospel singers for 3 p.m. Holy Faith Temple, Treme Baptist Church. Monday... Monday, January 19th, we have the King Holiday Program on the Steps of City Hall, uh, annual event for 9 a.m. Following that will be the Holiday Parade at the King Memorial Statue for 10 a.m. The parade route is on, located on our website, which is the nolakingcommission.org. On Tuesday, January 20th, we have the Hands-On New Orleans Committee, which is our community service event for 12.30 a.m. If you need any information, we have outlets on all social media where you can find out more details. And it'll be on the city website, too. And it'll also be on the city website. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, young sisters. All right, a couple of council people, if y'all want to make comments, come on up, Jerry. Welcome to, if you'd like to. Thank you. Good morning. Um, 
It is truly an honor um, to be here this morning as we embark upon this wonderful um, celebration. Um, as I stand here, I was telling Reverend Thompson, I remember when we worked in um, with Reverend Harvey mm -hmm. on the commission, getting it organized and making oh, sure that we stayed in the mm -hmm. forefront. Um, and so many people up here were with us in that. So I'm truly honored to be here this morning as we um, celebrate so many years. Bless you. And I'm particularly happy, Mr. Mayor, to see that we will have Brandon Odoms um, <laughs> celebrating with us. His street art exhibit has gained national attention. And it is a beautiful exhibit in over in Algiers. <laughs> it is in my <laughs> Not only because it's in my district, yeah. but that helps. Um, but it is truly a wonderful like exhibit. That. He has put his heart into it and um, the other young artists that have worked with him. So I would encourage everyone um, to get over and see it and to take part um, when he is making his presentations during the course of this week. So thank you, Mr. Thank Mayor. You, um, thank you, Commission, all for all of you. the hard work, um, Dr. Yeah. Galatis, for all of the hard work that you all have done throughout the years thank to you. keep us united and focused upon the important work that we need to do. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Council Lady. Jerry, James. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Very, very, very briefly. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your leadership. Uh, thank you to all the volunteers. You put in many hours to make this uh, week of events uh, very special, and I've been part of them for many years now since growing up in city government, and uh, they get better each year. I think uh, Martin Luther King would be proud mm -hmm. to see uh, how we get together. Um, many of the things he's represented and fought for fair housing, anti-discrimination. Uh, these are issues that we're still uh, battling today, uh, but we come together uh, as he would want us all to do uh, to talk it out. Uh, and so uh, I thank you, Mr. Mayor, for, uh, for all. I'm glad to see that more youth are getting involved yeah, in right, this. Right. And, and I would hope I'm that I would. <laughs> I ain't giving up. They may give up, but I ain't giving up. I am. And uh, looking forward to seeing all, everyone out there uh, next Monday morning for uh, the march. So I uh, appreciate all y'all support. Thank you. Very thank you. Councilmember Gray. I'm strong. I ain't Real strong. That's right. Uh, first of all, let me say I'm, I'm happy to be here, and, and uh, I thank the mayor. I thank the uh, mayor's uh, people, and I thank the committee. I look behind me and, and look at soldiers, uh, as they say, uh, who've been on the line a long time mm -hmm. and will continue to be on the line. Uh, I was actually talking to some of my staff today, and, and the question was, uh, had we forgotten our history? And, mm -hmm. and someone suggested uh, many of our kids uh, d never knew our history. Yeah. And, yeah. and we are thankful to those of you who have tried to see to it that they would know the history. Uh, I said that, that one of the things I was going to say is that we need to remember that Martin Luther King, uh, as great a, a man as he was, he's really an example of a lot of other people. Uh, many people fought this battle over a long period of time, and, uh, and we need to thank them for their success in the battle. But on the question of, of where do we go now, I think we need to realize that we have a responsibility Come to mm -hmm. to harvest yes, the crops that have been uh, mm -hmm. planted uh, by our fathers and our okay. grandfathers. Uh, I um, I was watching some ch uh, movie about the Bible. Oh, that's good. And and I do that from time to time. That's good. But uh, <laughs> you know, th these people were in a very fertile and fruitful land, and and some strangers came to them and said, uh, "You have a great garden here. Uh, how did it come to be?" And the natives said, "Well, our grandfathers dug the wells for the water. Our fathers uh, terraced the land and planted mm -hmm. the crops." Mm -hmm. And, and then the stranger said, well, what do you do? And they say, well, we fight to protect what has been given to us. Yes. And part of protecting it is we need to work hard in school. We need yeah. to work hard on our jobs. Yeah. We need to take advantage of the opportunities that have been given to us. And, and, and our obligation to the past is to take advantage of what they have given us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to do that. And I say one other thing. When you look at the history of violence in this country, of lynchings, mm -hmm. uh, I think there were somewhere over between 1880 and 1930 where most lynchings occurred, mm -hmm. over 2,000 lynchings in America. 
but we have more murders than that on our streets on, every right. year. Come on. You know, the worst, yeah. that 50 yeah. years of lynching doesn't amount to the number of people we kill mm -hmm. among ourselves each and every year. That we need to change. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Very good, Greg. So let me, let me end by, by making a, a couple of comments. The name of uh, Reverend Harvey was invoked, Simi Harvey. Yeah. yeah. And I remember Reverend Willie Earl Halsey. Yeah, yeah. Right on Jackson right. Avenue. All right. That's right, Reverend Ortiz. Yeah. <laughs> no flies on me. <laughs> <laughs> men who men who picked up uh, the banner, uh, and 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 say also that last week we commemorated the 200th anniversary okay. of the yeah. Battle of New Orleans. That's right. And present were the Buffalo Soldiers, mm -hmm. who, are yeah. who are represented yeah. here, who are represented here today. There were also Tuskegee Airmen who were there. And so from the beginning of time, we have all been fighting together as one people to make sure that we form a more perfect union. Dr. King, if he were alive today, uh, would be talking about a lot of things. But as Council Member Gray said, I assure you, one of the things that he would be talking about mm -hmm. is a number of deaths of young African-American men mm -hmm. on the streets of America. Amen. And the value of life is really, yes, really Lord important Jesus. that we have to recommit ourselves to. We have to recommit ourselves to economic justice. Mm -hmm. We have to recommit ourselves to fairness. We have to recommit ourselves against racism and discrimination and hatred. But we also have to look at what is before us and make sure that the lives of young African American men are valued in the United States of America yeah. and on the streets of New Orleans. And I really couldn't say it better than you said it. Councilmember Gray, about that issue. 650,000 no, American citizens have been taken on the streets of America since 1980 or so. That is more people that have been killed in all of the wars. Mm -hmm. Listen to me now. All of the wars in the 20th century, American so, citizens. That's a lot of life that has been lost, yeah. which is why in NOLA for Life we talk about changing the culture of violence into a culture of peace. Where do we go from here, colon, chaos, mm -hmm. or community? Oh, okay. So he not only gave us the question, he gave us the answer. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Chaos is created by division. Right. A house divided against itself yeah. cannot oh, stand. It can't stand. But when you are together, one yeah. team, one fight, one voice, one city. Unity. When you take and you unify each other and you don't let people pull you apart and you have a common purpose and you have common ground, you will make it to where you is going. That is the only pathway. Mm -hmm. to success. He showed us that. And we are going to continue walking on that path one step at a time until we, we form that more perfect union and we form a city of peace. Beautiful. So thank you all so much for being here. God bless you. No and we will see you.